everybody. In this video, I wanted to show how to actually use the cross product with a numerical example as well as a practical application. So let's say you work in the renewable energy industry and you're setting up this adjustable axis wind turbine. So let's say like you can mount the a motor here and here's the motor shaft and then your turbine blades basically go here but then these can pivot so you can actuate it which will change the orientation of this whole apparatus and then let's say you want to install a sensor package on this plane to measure things like the air temperature, pressure, solar radiation, but then you need to know the orientation of this plane. So one way to do that is you define a unit vector normal to the plane. So let's say you have these three points. So, and then we know the coordinates of all three, right? This is point A, zero, this is one, zero, zero, and then C is see 0 0 0.6 okay so you know the coordinates of all three we want to find a unit vector normal to the plane so all you need to do is define any two vectors in the plane any two and then cross them so I'll just say just cross any two vectors and then that cross product guaranteed is normal to those two vectors. All right, so let's just pick two. How about I'll make a vector r from b to e, and then I'll make another one from b to c. All right, so that's two vectors in the plane, and then we'll just cross them. Okay, so from b to e, it's 0 minus 1, and then in the y direction, 0.8 minus 0. And then in the z direction, 0 minus 0. You don't have to write 0, but just because I'm explaining it, right? So then from b to c, 0 minus 1. In the y direction, 0 minus 0. And then in the z direction, 0 0.6 minus 0. OK, so we got our two vectors in the plane. Let's cross them. So I'll just, I'll call this vector n for, for normal. Okay, normal to the plane. And then let's just cross these two vectors. Okay, so you set up the matrix determinant like this. And then the first vector goes here, the second vector goes here. So like this. Okay, so let's do this. In the i direction, ignore this, multiply this like a fish. Right, so, so 0 0.8 times 0 0.6 minus 0. Okay, in the j direction, it's negative. So I gotta be careful with the y direction. Okay, so ignore these, multiply these like a fish. So negative 0.6 minus 0. OK, now in the k direction, ignore these. Multiply this like a fish. So 0 minus negative 0.8. 0 minus negative 0.8. OK, so we, uh, let me just rewrite it. So OK, i direction, j direction, that's negative, negative, so plus. And then here again, negative, negative, so plus. OK, so we got our vector that's normal to the plane. But we wanted a unit vector, right? And so. You know how to do that, right? You just 
take the vector and divide it by its own magnitude, right? So if you want, let's say, n hat, this unit vector, just take vector n divided by its own magnitude, right? So here's vector n, and then you just divide by its own magnitude, which is that squared plus that squared plus that squared, and then square root the whole thing, right? So now this is a unit vector normal to the plane. Okay, thanks for listening. See you on the next video.